Hey guys, we're gonna talk about the new Luna display, the DPC-10. Some of you guys already have it and know some about it and there might be a few features that we're gonna show you that you don't know about it. So the first thing we're gonna show you is the five button keypad and you have the plus, minus, headlight, power, and I button. And then if you look over here, you have the display itself and on the side of the display, there's actually a USB port and we'll show you how that works later but it's kind of a cool feature. So now we're gonna run through some of the screens that you can get to on this display. So we're gonna hold down the power button to fire it up. Once it's on, to cycle through the different screens, you hit the I button. And so the first screen you can see here is the trip meter. If you hit the I button, you get to the total miles. Hit it again, you get to the max speed. Hit it again, and you get to your average miles per hour. And that's, I think it's just those four screens. Yep, back to trip. And then the next thing we're gonna show you is to program this, what you do is you double click the eye. So if you rapidly click this, you'll get into the settings. First setting is the trip reset. And you can either put yes or no using the plus or minus. And if you hit yes and go back out, then it'll reset your data but we're gonna leave it on no. And if you click the I again, the next page is gonna be the units. So right now it's set for miles per hour, but you could set it to KMH. We'll leave it to miles per hour. The next screen. So this is a new feature that I haven't seen before. And what it is is it has a light sensor. And this setting controls how sensitive that sensor is. And what happens is if you set this to we're gonna just gonna set it to five, which is the most sensitive, and we'll double click to get out of settings. There's a sensor on the back of the display, and if I cover the sensor, the light comes on automatically. Take it off, and it turns off. So it'll automatically turn on the backlight for you when it gets dark out, which is a nice feature. So we're gonna go back into settings. We're gonna go through trip reset, uh, units, backlight sensitivity, and then the next one will be backlight brightness. So you can adjust that however you like it. We'll just leave it at two. And this screen will be the auto off feature it's set for five minutes. We'll go ahead and leave it there. And then you have your maintenance, which you can turn zero for off or one for on. We're just gonna leave it at zero. Next screen is password. And just like the C965, the password is zero and then you're going to hit the i to get to the next digit you're going to type in five i to get to the next digit one i for the next digit and then two and after you get past the password you can adjust your wheel size so we're going to set that for 29. next screen is going to be speed limit and we're already set to the max on 60, but it, you can set it anywhere you want. It's in kilometers. And then the next screen is gonna be B01. And not really sure what this one does. You can't adjust anything, but you can just toggle right through this. And then it goes back to trip reset. And to get back out of the menu, settings menu, you just double click the eye. Okay, so that's how you do all the settings. And then now we're gonna show you this USB port. So if you take the little plug out and we've got a phone over here, we're gonna go ahead and plug the phone in. And as you can see, nothing happened yet. That's because you have to actually turn the display off and then turn it back on. And then once it comes back on, then you get power. So you can actually charge your phone or run you know whatever you need to connect to your usb and it's kind of a nice feature and i think that's everything about this new display a lot of added features and a nice look and that's it